Welcome to this uh, week's Sunday sermon, and uh, we read from the United Independent Contem Contemporary Code System Concept book. It's uh, by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. It's a uh, compensatory uh, counter-racist code uh, by uh, by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. As I said, and this is the uh, 2016 revised edition. There's a the original edition, original book came out in, in uh, 1984. Uh, and uh, we actually have it. It's uh, it's housed. Uh, it's bound. It's bound by Lovedale Press, which is a revolutionary press during the times of the old days of apartheid. This is why why this Lovedale Press is located in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. And uh, that original book, uh, which is a it's it's a, it's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, whites of which Miss Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. That book is housed at the Lhote House, and the Lhote House is that is in, like I said to you, well, the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa, and it's uh, it's used by uh, the Acolytes of Liberation, uh, which I'm I'm a, I'm a consultant to, you know, a custodian. What do we what do you call it? Not consultant, not custodian. What do you call it? I'm I'm a counselor, a guidance counselor to to the group. Um, uh, so we read from this book. Uh, this is our uh, our scripture, and uh, we are reading from the uh, seventh area of activity in the book, uh, and this is the revised edition book, and this is uh, page 270. And as you may and may not know, there are uh, basically, uh, well, basically there are uh, nine areas of activity. Nine's a good number, too. People don't understand. Everybody wants to make him, wants him to do a tenth area, like health, something like that. But but as he explains, as Miss he being Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., everything is all intertwined and, and, and related. It's just like the world. You know, we all, we're all connected, whether people realize it or not. Um, but nine is a good number. Nine is a number of completion. So there you go. Ten, uh, through the digits, the single digits would be, would be one. You know, that's like the beginning. Mm, I don't know. Or or one we one is like a baby nine. You know, I, well that's in numerology. Let me just go back. Let me just explain that the nine areas are, are, are economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, uh, religion, sex, and war. Counter war. So we're in uh, area seven, which is religion, uh, and I'm going to uh, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna read. Oh, well, let me just uh, the book is like this and it has highlights and and answers or ex answers or explanations. Uh, uh, we're going to go to this one. Uh, uh, think of everything that you now have, have had, or will have, as being gifts. Gifts is in quotes. And be prepared at any time to, here we go, quote, lose. Then we close the quotes. Or he puts in, in, in uh, what do you call it, brackets, return. Some, most, or all of those gifts that you now have. And then he has an explanation there. And then he has another explanation down there, right? I'm not going to read the first part of the explanation. You want to read it? Then you should go to producejustice.com, get the book, and you can see what that says. But I'm going to read the second part of the explanation, which goes in, it's on page 270, like I said, and it goes into page 271. Let me move this away. Uh, uh, so again, let me just start from the beginning. Like I said, I'm going to skip the explanation, the first the first paragraph of the explanation. Just go to the second paragraph of the explanation, because I can do that, because I got the book. And you need to get it. Okay. Think of everything that you now have, have had, or will have as being gifts. And be prepared at any time to lose or return some, most, or all of those gifts that you now have. Explanation, paragraph two. It is also important to know and to understand that all of the gifts that a person receives should be used to help him or her think, speak, and act to solve those problems that are, quote, presented to him or her. He or she has the duty, duty is underlined here, to solve those problems that as best as he or she can and to do so in a manner that is best or correct according 
to the laws of universal logic, or as he says in brackets, the law of compensation. Each person has a duty to discover this universal logic by seeking to find the reason he or she was put into existence at the time and place that he or she was allowed, that's in quotes, to exist. Whoa. Each person has a duty to discover the, this universal logic by seeking to find the reason he or she is put into existence at the time and place that he or she was allowed to exist. Whoa. What's your purpose in life? I'm quite sure your purpose, I mean, some people think that, well, I'm not, so I don't know what some people think. But uh, take a drink of water here. Oh, it it warms it warms the cockles of my heart to know that you know you should have a purpose that uh, you sh you know what we're talking about. We being me T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what we only suspect. 